All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. So obviously, I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation here. So I get 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. And now, on my left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and factor out 3 to the power of x. So now I get 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. And 1 plus 1, that's equal to 2. So I get 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 12. Now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So when these two cancel out, and I get 3 to the power of x is equal to 6. Now if we plug in x equals 1, we get 3 to the power of 1, which is equal to 3. And if we plug in x equals 2, we get 3 to the power of 2, which is equal to 9. So we know that the value of x has to be somewhere in between 1 and 2, because 6 is between 3 and 9, meaning that x is going to be a decimal value. So to find the exact value of x, we're going to have to use logarithms. So if I take the log on both sides, I get log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 6. And there are actually three important logarithmic properties that you guys should know. So the first one is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. The second one that you guys should know is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is going to equal log a plus log b. And finally, if I have something in the form log of a over b, this is going to equal log a minus log b. So we have log 3 to the power of x equals log 6. And we can use our first property here, log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So I can move x to the front, and I get x times log 3 is equal to log 6. Now from here, I can we want to isolate x, so I can divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 6 over log 3. Now, I'm going to rewrite 6 as 3 times 2. So I get log 3 times 2 over log 3. And remember, now we can use our second property, log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So log 3 times 2, that's going to equal log of 3 plus log 2. And I have this over log 3. I can rewrite this as log 3 over log 3 plus log 2 over log 3. Now log 3 and log 3, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 3 or log 2 over log 3. And log 2 that's equal to 0 0.301, and 
And now I have this over 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 1 plus 0 0.6309. And 1 plus 0 0.6309 is 1.6309. So this is my answer. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So My equation was 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. And I'm going to start, like I started with the first method, by factoring out 3 to the power of x for my left-hand side. So I get 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. Now, again, I'm going to solve what's in my parentheses. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I get 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 12. And again, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get 3 to the power of x is equal to 6. Now, remember from I got x is equal to 1.6309. Now I'm going to plug this in. to my 4x. So I get 3 to the power of 1.6309 plus 3 to the power of 1.6309 is equal to 12. And 3 to the power of 1.6309 is 5.9998. And if I add these two together, I get approximately 12. So I get 12 equals 12, and because this is right, I know my solution is right. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x is equal to five to the power of x plus seven. So I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So make sure to stick around for the video to see me solve both methods. So for my first method, method one, I'm going to write my problem right here. 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of x plus 7 I can write that as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 7. And now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, an important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 5. And another property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 over 5 to the power of x. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of 7. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. 
In this case, I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I have log 5 to the power of 7, so I can move 7 to the front. So I get x times log 2 over 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now from here, we obviously want to find the value of x, so to do that, we have to get rid of log 2 over 5 by dividing both sides by log 2 over 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 over 5. And we have our answer here. This is our solution, but there is a way to simplify it more. So first off, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 2 over 5, that's going to equal... log 2 minus log 5. And now from here, I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 7 times log 5 over log 5. And these two cancel out, so I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus 7. And this is the same thing as 7 of log base 2 of 5 minus 7. Now for method 2. What I can do is my equation was 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now, I'm going to just start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now, using that property, I get x times log 2 is equal to x plus 7 times log 5. And now, if I distribute the log 5, I get x times log 2 is equal to x times log 5 plus 7 times log 5. Now if I subtract x times log 5 on both sides, these two cancel out and I get x times log 2 minus x times log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now I can factor out x, so I get x times log 2 minus log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. And divide log 2 minus log 5 on both sides. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5, <coughs> which, again, simplifies to this. So x equals 7 times log base 2 of 5 minus 7 is my answer.